Let's -a go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 Let's -a go. Oh. Oh -oh. Oh! <laughs> 
Let's -a go. Tick-tock, 
Tick tock. Tick tock clock. But this stage is actually like one of the sh one of the shortest stages, just like SSL. Um. Not only is this, this is this stage like a minute and thirty seconds long on average, um, the first two rooms literally can use BTT strats, and the BTT strats is like human theory tasks, and humans have actually done the first two rooms like that in runs. Um, I'm gonna try to do both of them. Let's see how well I do. I mean, I'm rusty, so let's go. Let's go. No, oh my god, let me get it one more time. Uh... Okay, this is actually hard. Yeah, but it's possible. The second room is a lot easier than the first. The first room is like, okay, maybe not, okay, what I said is not true about the first room at all. At all. But the second room is. Okay, so what I'm talking about is this, so, get a rocket nozzle. Oh yes, got it! First try, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, nice, got it. So, yeah, so what I did there is I... I did a really specific setup. I missed the shine cancel, but I can fix that. That's, that doesn't matter. So, I'll explain what I did later. Um... So, I made a setup where... I'll actually explain when I actually get there. Cutting some parts off. Keep that in mind. Dude, really? What strat is this? Like that. So what I did is I actually went in the Slink Star and I shot up with the rocket nozzle. Still with the rocket charge. That's why I use the Slink Star. I don't rocket up there. Then, after that, I immediately switch into turbo and then count for a single second and then that's when i switch into rocket and then immediately rocket if the setup is done perfectly then you're likely to actually get it right and if you get it wrong you can easily back it up lose like a few seconds it's fine but it's really cool when you actually get it. i'm gonna try it again so oh i didn't even count that time okay but you have to count one or else you're definitely gonna fail it one Yep, that was definitely wrong counting. So it's definitely still hard, but it's definitely like a little bit more likely. I'll try one more time. One. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That without the bonk, basically. See, so yeah, let's do the shine cancel again. That's kind of self-explanatory. Nothing, nothing else here is like everything is self-explanatory after this or already explained. So we all know what shine cancels are at this point. I'm very sure because we made a lot of videos covering that. If you if you if you haven't seen it, then check it out. Um, yeah, did you see over? Nothing really to explain here. Gonna hundred percent it, and we're gonna be moving on to the next IL. That I think is slightly better than TTC. All right, we going all the way back downstairs, boys. All right. <laughs> cold, 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 cold. No, I don't want to act like that. That's dumb. Congratulations to those who have managed to crack the code of the one minute IL. That's right. Shifting Sandland can literally be in, be beaten 100% in a minute. In fact, the world record is under 50 seconds. <laughs> it's really crazy. So, yeah, let's go over how this stage is so fat. Let's go over the stage. Let's go over why this stage is fun. Like, yeah, you have all three floods. It's a minute long, so you can get so many attempts in, as I already said. And let's 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 look look over the tricks. You know why not? Um, just like Bob, we're shine canceling every shine except for the last one. We get that turbo almost immediately, and then the rocket immediately after that. And then you get the star coin, and then you get the hover immediately after that. Then you make your first shine cancel after two red coins. Then we're gonna be getting the other, the, the other. Um, oh, that was nice. It could have been nice, but whatever. 
Um, so we got the reds. Oh my god, please. Uh, if we got the reds. Yes, mistakes can happen, but that's fine. We're not grinding. We're just showing. Then we make our second shine cancel after we get the eight reds. Okay, just like that. Then we're going to finish things off by getting this star coin. Going inside and then finishing. All of that being done fast um, results in being this in under a minute. Sometimes even 50 seconds if you're as good as second or which nobody is right now. I'm going to do inside shine cancel for fun. Nice. Got it. If you fail that shine cancel, you actually lose 30 seconds and you, fi and you save 2 for getting it. So it's really risky. Anyways, if you want to see the bonus for Shifting Sandland, I will potentially leave that as a bonus. So stay tuned for that. Alright, I'm going to record the script for this. Um, as soon as I get in the painting. So tall. Alright, so... Let's go. Tall? Let's go. Taller? Tallest of them all, we have Tall Tall Mountain. Flood Preserve really changed things up. For so far- Oh my god. Tallest of them all, up next is Tall Tall Mountain. Flood Preserve really changed this level up, for, but for the purposes of- Tallest of them all, next up is Tall Tall- Tallest of them all, next up is Tall Tall Mountain. Flood Preserve really changed this level up, by the way. But for the purposes of this video, I will not be covering the past TTM in 2019. Anywho, nowadays, we um, start by going like this and going straight up instead of doing it after TTM Mushroom. Um, so what you want to do is you don't actually have to get the Terror Box there like we used to. Um, instead, we just have to get the first two Shines. Like this. Gotta Shine Cancel this. Then you gotta Shine Cancel um, TTM Silvers. Because th the thing is, what that does is... As long as the game, ha as long as you have five silver stars, it spawns the silver star shine. It doesn't matter what silvers they are, by the way, because this is the only stage with you know two sections of silver stars. So, if you were to do this in theory, get the sh get the five silvers, then shine cancel this, then enter TTM secret, your counter is still five, and thus it will spawn the shine because TTM secret is also a silver star shine, and. This is what this is how we skip the silvers. To anyone that's wondering that, so it's a really cool trick. Um, so yeah, um, and this is exactly what I was saying. What happened? So yeah, it's really really cool. It's like super big brain. I'm gonna just get it real quick and then continue with the script. Oh yeah, um, let me know if you hear my keyboard. I might hear it. Maybe I won't. We'll find out. This is not in the script yet. What will come next in the script is the red part. Okay. Well, after all that, we are now going to be doing red coins. And the red shine is basically the exact same as what it, whatever it used to be in the past. And I know I'm talking about, the, I'm comparing it a little bit, but you know, it doesn't hurt to, to 
simplify or summarize the previous TTM. I'm not going to go in depth over it, but I am kind of summarizing TTM Reds, what it used to be. After I said I wouldn't be talking about it, but not in depth. So yeah, um, bruh. Okay, so, oh, the, oh yeah, when I said it's the exact same, the only difference is that now we're shine canceling the reds, because we haven't gotten, we haven't actually gotten mushroom yet, so we want to shine cancel this, get mushroom, you can either shine cancel it from the left or the right, um, I'm gonna do the left, it's riskier, but it's faster, this is why it's risky, those platforms really mess you up, but it's faster if you don't get the platformed, like I did that one time, so it's really up to you if you want to go for that strat, I don't, Personally, right now, because I still have a 56 PB in 100%. I don't need it right now. I'm not a sub 50 player. Okay, so, oh my god, please. Okay, so. So, yeah, um, after, grabbing that, after grabbing that shine, that is literally the end of Tall Tall Mountain. Next! That was actually quite fun. But yeah, we have a very, very short IL. And a very, very notable one at that, too. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock clock. But this stage is actually like one of the sh one of the shortest stages, just like SSL. Um, not only is this is this stage like a minute and thirty seconds long on average, um. The first two rooms literally can use BTT strats, and the BTT strats is like human theory tasks, and humans have actually done the first two rooms like that in runs. Um, I'm gonna try to do both of them. Let's see how well I do. I mean, I'm rusty, so let's go. No, oh my god, let me get it one more time. Uh -huh. Okay, this is actually hard. Yeah, but it's possible. The second room is a lot easier than the first. The first room is like, okay, maybe not. The, okay, what I said is not true about the first room at all, at all. But the second room is. Okay, so what I'm talking about is this. So get a rocket nozzle. Oh yes, got it. First try. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, nice, got it. So, yeah, so what I did there is I I did a really specific setup. I missed the shine cancel, but I can fix that. That's, that doesn't matter. So, I'll explain what I did later. Um, so, I made a setup where... I'll actually explain when I actually get there. Cutting some parts off. Keep that in mind. Dude, really? Let's try is this. that so what I did is I actually went in the sling star and I shot up with the rocket nozzle still with the rocket charge that's why I use the sling star I don't rock it up there then after that I immediately switch into turbo and then count for a single second and then that's when I switch into rocket and then immediately rocket if the setup is done perfectly then you're likely to actually get it right and if you get it wrong, you can easily back it up, lose like a few seconds, it's fine. But it's really cool when you actually get it. I'm gonna try it again, so. Oh, I didn't even count that time, okay. But you have to count one, or else you're definitely gonna fail it. One. Yep, that was definitely wrong counting. So it's definitely still hard, but it's definitely like, a little bit more likely. I'll try one more time. One. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That without the bonk, basically. See, so, yeah, let's do the shine cancel again. That's kind of self-explanatory. Nothing, nothing else here is like everything is self-explanatory after this or already explained. So we all know what shine cancels are at this point. I'm very sure because we made a lot of videos covering that. If you, if you, if you haven't seen it, then check it out. Um, yeah, did you see over? really to explain here. Gonna 100% it. And we're gonna be moving on to the next IL, 
I think is slightly better than TTC. All right. We're going all the way back downstairs, boys. All right. <laughs> cold, 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 cold. No, I don't want to act like that. That's dumb. Snowman's Land, arguably the coldest stage in the game, since it replaced CCM from Super Mario 64, and SL from that game is seemingly gone. Hint, hint, Frosty Flood, but then again I said arguably. Anyways, the level has five super fast shines, that's one thing I can already see. This means in bingos, even- oh wait, alright, uh, I'll say anyways here. Anyways, this level, out of all of these shines, they're all very fast to go for. So, this means in bingos, even before the recent update, this stage was already 100% and quite a lot. Um, the first two rooms do have you resetting 90% of runs, but it's not like LLL at all. There is a lot of leniency for the rest of the stage, as you'll probably have a 20% chance for each of the other three shines once you really iron them out. So... 90% of runs die to the first two sh uh, the rooms, then a good 80% of them actually succeed and get you a finished run. Overall, I'd say it on average. So it's not LL, don't worry, it's just the first two rooms. That's the only hard part about this, like in my opinion at least. I might as well just show a run of it. Huh. Let's go. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh,
We're still gonna be in the castle, so I'm gonna give the secret while the audio from the video is playing. Haha. <laughs> so we're gonna have the audio from the video, and we're also going to take away the video so that it's just the audio. For that one part. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go there right now. This part's not gonna be in the script, so yeah. And I can take away whatever parts I want. I am a stage that is both dry and wet that exists in Mario games. What am I? Pause me if you want to figure this out on your own. Remember, it's like a bright side puzzle. Remember, just think about it. Think about it like it's a bright side puzzle. I'll give you a second. It is Wet Dry World. We start off by handling the first room the casual way. Oh, I said a sentence too early. Whatever, that doesn't matter. Ah, oh, whatever. Right off the bat, nothing interesting happens. This is literally just a casual method fast. No glitches, no none of that. But, in reds, things kind of spice up. Because of just how cool it looks. And I think we're not really using any glitches there either, but it just looks super cool. Just, just watch. Bruh. Except for that. Ah, oh, went too far. Bruh. It's a bruh. There we go. Okay. Um... I guess having a 145 means being rusty. I mean, that was true with Booth Mansion too, to be honest. Okay. Got passed with Starcoin? Cool. We're done. Huh. Hmm. What do you think about comparing Verdict to Sekinor in this game? I think it would be a really cool idea. I think this should be another bonus in the future, don't you think? Yeah, I I might want to do that, so, so stay tuned. I'm a tired. Oof, I am dark. I am the dark knight, the dark shadow, and Darth Vader. Ooh. I come from the darkest state in Sepamadia 63. Ooh. This is Hezimeskev. Okay, Darth Vader, actually get out of here. <laughs> Thank you, Darth Vader. Seriously, messing up my video? What the hell? <sighs> Anyways. <sighs> that was random as hell. Um, Hezimeskev. Cave. This level consists of a very confusing red coin shine. A simple silver star shine. And quite tricky everything else for casuals. But we speedrunners know where the reds are, so that's not an issue. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you an aisle. Uh, I guess I could just show the parts that I'm talking about. And, yeah. I mean, it's really good. It has balanced difficulty, highly rewarding tricks, cool music and background. The music is, I think, just compares to BM. This and BM, I was, I was debating for which one's better. I ultimately put BM as number one, because I just grind it so much, and yeah. Um, the basement is just amazing. The best part of the game. 
Let's do a 100% IL with the star coins already collected and the shines. Okay, um, what do I need to explain though? Um, not a whole lot. I've already explained all of it, or at least most of it. That's the thing, that's the thing with the script, like, yes, I need to explain stuff, but then again, Verdict already explained it in an NMS run. I've explained some stuff numerous times and I don't want to repeat myself, so... That's the thing that goes into mind when I'm creating the script. Creating scripts is hard. Well, I mean, making the script is actually kind of tricky. Making the videos and the audio for the script is so much harder. So that's why I'm trying to my, my best to make it as entertaining as possible. So if you found this entertaining, uh, please share. If you don't find it entertaining, also share. Share me, share me your opinion. What do you think about this? Um, yeah. I'd love to hear. Whether you liked it or not, you know? So... This is the Silver Star Shine. I'm just going so fast that I can't even explain. <laughs> it's like I've been it's like I'm a top it's like being a top runner makes it so hard to actually explain what's going on. You know what I mean? This is why you have a couch. That was a silver star shine that was <laughs> that was like <laughs> Okay, this part can be cut out. The red coin shine just gets ridiculous just just get just gets crazy. Let's go. I don't even think I can explain it, but I don't need to, so I'm just going to let it happen. I'll show parts that I want to. Ooh. Oh my god, I just remember something! Hazy Maze Cave! There's a there's a there's a SM, there's a Mario 64 version of this stage where um, Cheese has gotten a perfect HMC right in a 120 star world record attempt. If you've seen that video, you know what I'm talking about. But if you haven't, I'll link it in the description. It is by far the craziest Cheese one of the craziest Cheese 5 accomplishments of all time, or just Cheese accomplishments. What the hell? How do you get a perfect HMC without the toxic BLJ thing? What the- Oh my god! A perfect HMC, no mistakes in Mario 64. That, that's impossible. That's impossible. This it seems impossible, but then you realize it's Cheese who's doing this. The same guy who got world record in a single year of playing the game. One to two years. Still, still ridiculous for a game like Mario 64. That... He got it after Siglemic left, too. Like, I don't understand. I don't understand, like, yeah. Cheese is, fa Cheese is the fastest improver in 64. Verdict's the fastest in, um... Verdict's the fastest in, um... This game. I don't know who the fastest for Odyssey or Sunshine. Oh, there's a lot of fast ones. There's no, like, true fastest one. That's the thing. Oh, sh you! Oh my god! I am done showing this IL, then. <laughs> Next. Boo's Boo's Mansion Boo's 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 Mansion Boo's 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 Mansion Boo's Mansion I'm here Boo's Boo's Mansion This is my favorite aisle of all time Just, just, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be real That's my, that's my feeling about Boo's Mansion That's why I grind it so much, dude there's a reason I've grinded it so much to get a sub-5. Well, well besides the fact that it was possible and it was 530. No, this is the best IL in the game. Like, just like Nathaniel Bandy said, right? I 100% I agree. The floods are perfectly suited for the stage, right? Um, you get the shine first because you want to have the keys to, and then you want to select this shine. You want to then collect this shine, then uh, this shine. And this shine, and this shine. And the route is really weird, but whatever. It's just really awesome. I'm going to explain to you, even without looking... I'm not going to look at my script. I'm just going to tell you how good it is. It's just perfect. There's a reason I got... I grinded, grinded it enough for a full 48, and I'm more than happy... I'm almost... Ha I am almost more than happy to grind for a full 45, but it's so difficult. Anyways. Boo's Mansion, take it away. Let's go. Right off the bat, we're going to be doing a tech skip. It's that. That's all it is. Now, um, 
I am going to be fighting King Boo. We're gonna be fight. We're gonna be just doing it the casual, fast way. Nothing really extra about this. Everything extra happens in everything after the shine. That's what. Bruh. Bruh. Oh yeah. Um, one ironic thing about this is there is a really, really hard glitch where you can take out King Boo and save a good four or five seconds. It's a ridiculously hard strat that I never go for, which is why I'm doing it casually, but fast. Right? Except I am actually missing the switches. Whatever. Mistakes happen. Imagine I get it here. <laughs> if I get it, this is a slow one. No, okay, it's not. Yeah, this is what I expected to happen. I don't ever go for that glitch because I never get it. I just, I just do kind of do what I can. All right, so what we're gonna do now is go for this shine. Uh, cl just click on the turbo box because we can. All right, so bear with me. Okay. Now we're going to be grabbing Hover Nozzle because we need it for Cable Room. We're going to be grabbing the Star Coin so we don't have to enter this room again. It is about 10 seconds faster. Yes, the movement here is slower right now, but you don't have to enter it a second time, so it's clearly fast overall. And it's kind of obvious if you just think about it for a bit. Uh, what's next? I don't know. Um, we get the Rocket Nozzle. Yes, that's true. We do a little, a really cool movement with the star coin. I think I'll, I'll use IHL's movement. Uh, nice, got it. Oh, that's so big brain, dude. That is not what I did in my world record. That is what IHL does, and it is so much more consistent. And, I and it might be faster too. Either way, I'm definitely going to be using it in my 4:45 grind if I ever decide to do that. All right. So yeah, what we're doing now is we're going to be collecting the reds, and this is my personal route. We have no proof if it's the fastest. This this stage is going to update a route a lot. The reds route is going to be updating constantly, so you can expect a new reds route in the future. Uh, that wouldn't surprise me at all. In fact, I would kind of expect it, because it's so long. Nice. We got the important shine cancels. The red shine cancel is not a major one. IHL strat, let's go. Okay, no. <laughs> I, and that would have been actually bonkers. I got that. It is actually really hard. I don't know how IHL did that in run. He's just too good at ILs. He could compete with Verdict in ILs, too. So, is Verdict going to get a sub 440? Well, well, I guess we'll have to wait for Verdict to actually grind this IL then. To find out. Which I don't know when it's ever happening. This is a cool strat. I haven't ever done this in like a world record run, but you can double rocket, get up here, get a faster cycle, but I failed it, so... Because it's just really hard. I just wanted to show that it exists. That's really all I wanted to do here. Give you guys a general idea. So now... BTT! Yo! We tried a BTT strat! That's what BTT does. Boo's Mansion! Boo! This is not boohoo at all. All that was is sarcasm. Boo boo boohoo. More sarcasm to come from a reaction like boohoo. Boohoo boohoo. Okay, that's over. <laughs> okay, so what else can I. Oh no, I missed the coin. But yeah, you can actually, as soon as you like backflip from that star coin, you can actually not land an extra time except for on the ground here. It's really insane. It's what BTT does, but it's insanely hard. Um, you know, I can I could have just task canceled that. I should, probably should have, but whatever. That's what BTT tries to do, but basically you want to hover a lot lower for BTT. But I try to do it because I actually want to get good at the game. I want to get in contention with the 5321 at least before Verdict comes back. Dude, this is going to be another barrier, just like the sub hour was. Oh, got it. Alright, 
be undone, but yeah. And with that being said, that is my top 10 for Super Mario 63 stages. There are exactly 10 stages in this game, 7 main, 3 mini, and overall, this is what I think they are in order from least, from worst to best. I started off with a very, very, very angry reaction, because LOL is just complete garbage. 5 Rainbow Ride Secrets in a row? Are you kidding me? 1 is bad enough, but 5 is too much, dude. Rainbow Ride Secret alone is bad, so it got second place, and it just got better. It got up until the point where I got to basement, and it, complete, it completely opposited. Like, it's the opposite now. Yeah. That's the best idea. All in all, 100% IELTS are the most fun IELTS to grind in Super Mario 63. That is, except for Lethal Loveland and Rainbow Ride. They provide immediate relevance to 100% full game runs, as the IL is literally done the exact same way. Get all shines and all star coins ASAP. 100% has always been my main category of interest since late 2017, and I've always had this dream of getting world record, hence the road to world record um, titles that I used to put. It, at the time, when I first started, the world record was a 101.41, and then by late 2018, it was a 59.43, the first sub hour. However, when I eventually finally got a 1 flat 11 in like no, late 2019, a year later, I struggled to break the sub hour barrier, mental barrier. And it, it lasted for so many months. That verdict, in that time, way before, before I even got a sub hour, he learned 100%, and he got a 58.43 before I even got another PB. That's how hard it was for me. And that's how easy it is for Verdict. I mean, if you look at his 53-21, there are so many major mistakes in the mid-game. It's ridiculous. And, you know, I'm not disappointed at all that he took my record. Um, he's still way better than us at the game, so whatever. I mean, even if I was former, former world record holder, it would have changed nothing. Because we all know Verdict is just the best player in the game. Sekinor is the only player that can maybe compete against him. And you know how I said something about a IL world record analysis? Let us analyze the world record for that stage. We're actually going to do it now. All right. I'm going to try. All right. We're actually going to do this right now. We're going to analyze the world record for 100%. And this is a sub 50 seconds. So I'm going to try to explain everything as fast as I can. I'm going to miss a lot of stuff, but that's fine because it's a 50 second. Anyway, let's go. All right. The movement is, this is what I do currently. So far, it's what I do. But, oh my god, he's done. Okay. Uh, a fucking SDR, what the hell? Okay, how? Okay. Firsty, insane. SDR just being ridiculous. Okay, that spin kind of makes sense. Not, doesn't look that crazy, although it might be, I don't know. Uh, that spin, you know, that single jump spin is what I do. But, um, okay. No fucking slowdown and a firsty? Is this, is, is this real life? How does he get a 49, dude? I'm speechless. Like, this guy's as good as Verdict. This guy is as good as Verdict. 100%. Okay, that was a crazy thing. Oh my god, what the hell? I can under- I, I, I see why he doesn't do SSL inside, because he's so nervous. He just wants the first 49. And he knows he can get it without um, SSL inside. My, my, my god my, is my mind blown off that run. Damn. 